What's up, fellow pilots? Welcome back to Hellfire Models. It's your boy, Hellfire Models, in the cockpit, and today we're gearing up for some epic brush painting action. That's right, forget about airbrushes, we're diving headfirst in the world of brush painting, where every stroke counts. Well, everyone else is sweating over their airbrushes. Fuck it, I can't do this anymore. Top five, top five brush painting tips, let's go. Step one, know your paints. Enamels are not acrylics, and not all acrylics are water-based, so if it's your first time using a particular brand of paint, do some research before you massacre your model kit. Paints such as Vallejo Model Color, AK 3rd Gen, Ravel Aqua, and Humbrol's acrylics are water-based, meaning that you can thin them with water, they're incredibly forgiving, although they are a bit fragile and can scratch off easily without primer. Tamiya and Mr. Hobby's acrylics are alcohol-based, you cannot thin them with water, and while there are probably arcane methods to get good results with them, they seem to be a complete and utter pain in the ass and are almost certainly not worth the effort. Enamels take forever to dry, and can give you some pretty amazing results, but the enamel paint racks at my local hobby stores are emptier than Melbourne's Docklands, so who cares? Step 2. Have paintbrushes. They don't need to be fancy $100 dealies with the hairs plucked from the right testicle of a long extinct creature, just a cheap set of synthetics will do. Just so long as the bristles aren't rock hard or falling apart, you can get some use out of them. Synthetics are generally quite cheap unless you're getting scammed, and can last long enough if you take even a modicum of care of them. You also don't necessarily need a super tiny quadruple zero size brush for your detail painting. As long as your brushes come to a nice fine point like these cheap golden tacklon dealies do, the rest is all skilled. Step 3. Thin your paints. Well, the phrase thin your paints is a bit of a meme. For the love of god, thin your paints. Water-based paints are good for this because you can just mix in a bit of tap water and you're off to the races. Thinning ratios are a boondoggle, so just experiment on some plastic card, or the inside of the model, or multiple very cheap models, or something until you get a feel for it. And here's the kicker, in a hobby such as scale modelling, practice is non-negotiable. Your first, second, or even fifteenth model isn't going to be perfect. The only way to learn is by making mistakes, hence my insistence on not giving you an invariably inaccurate thinning ratio that some people would take as gospel for some inexplicable reason. Step 4. Put the paint on the model. If you have any difficulty figuring out how to use a paintbrush, please see a doctor. If you've been listening up to this point and have thinned your paint, you're going to need to build up the colour in multiple thin layers, so make sure that you give the paint enough time to dry between coats, or use a hairdryer or something, I don't know, I'm not the police. Keep in mind that by thin layers, this refers to not only the viscosity or dilution of the paint, but also the amount of paint applied onto the model itself. It doesn't matter if your paint's the consistency of liquid helium, your model's gonna look like shit if you just carelessly slop it on. And finally, for step 5, stop being a little bitch. The amount of people that I've seen who have basically just poured paint straight from the bottle directly onto the model and have turned around and said, oh I can't help it, I don't have an airbrush, is non-zero, which is quite frankly terrifying. If you don't know how to thin your paints, blowing 150 bucks on an airbrush and presser is the least of your problems. Much like how buying an $1000 knife set doesn't immediately make you Gordon Ramsay, or how buying a Formula 1 car doesn't make you a professional racist, buying an airbrush isn't going to magically make your models any less of a train wreck if you've already proven that you can't be fucked putting in the bare minimum amount of effort to learn. And as an aside, consider embracing imperfection. Don't cry over a single brush mark, or a decal that's a millionth of a degree misaligned, Imperfection is human, and unless there's an uprising that I've missed, you presumably are human as well. So the models you make are a reflection of your humanity. There's no rhyme or reason to what any of we as modelers do. We came from dust, and to dust we shall return. So there's not much point in spending whatever time we do have as not dust freaking the fuck out about your camo's shape being slightly wrong. It's as my favourite poet once said, caring about anything's gay. And besides, nothing a bit of weathering can't hide. <laughs> 